We begin with a growing public outrage over the controversial government taxation offensive. And today, the Anglican Church of Kenya has added its voice against the proposed taxation measures contained in the Finance Bill 2023. The clergy, led by the head of the Anglican Church in Kenya, Archbishop Jackson Olesapit, described as irresponsible any attempts to load more taxes on Kenyan taxpayers. The Anglican clergy instead wants the government to contain wastage and combat corruption. We begin our broadcast with our very own Stephen Lito. The public outrage against the new finance bill continues to gather momentum, with the Anglican Church calling for scrutiny of the proposals, which the church said will amount to overburdening an already struggling Kenyan population. We demand that the proposed finance bill of 2023 is subjected to thorough public scrutiny through meaningful public participation before it is presented to Parliament. The bottom line is that the majority of the population uh, can ill afford tax increases which seem to feature glaringly in the said bill. Ole Sapid says the government should not resort to heavy taxation to finance its ambitious budget of 2023-2024 and instead seal corruption loopholes and tame government wastage. We demand that the government lay a clear structure that will curb wasteful public expenditure, uh, be sensitive to the distress, distressful debt situation and the dire economic hardship that faces the common citizen. In the proposed finance bill 2023, the government is seeking to deduct 3% from salaried Kenyans while seeking an additional 3% from their employers to go towards the National Housing Development Levy. In the same piece of legislation, the government wants to increase their pay-as-you-earn contributions to 35% from the current 30%. <laughs> Charge further raised concerns of the fate of the bipartisan talks, saying the deliberations are resting on shaky ground. We, the Anglican Church Bishop, and other religious sector and other stakeholders, uh, including faith-based organization, business associ association, and the media, uh, an all-inclusive national dialogue, are ready to call a national inclusive dialogue on issues that may not be resolved by the Otiende Amolo and George Murungara uh, led by partisan committee. We shall invite the Kenyan, the Kenya Kwanzaa and Asimio leaders to attend the talks. In a wide-ranging state of the nation address, the Anglican clergy also expressed concerns over the ongoing implementation of the CBC system of education, which Archbishop Sapit citing gaps in the junior secondary school rollout. There is significant need for improvement, especially in the training and preparation of teachers uh, who work in the junior secondary schools. We note with grave concern that most teachers placed in junior secondary school lack adequate training and preparation. And in reference to the contentious aftermath of the Shakahola cult mass killings, the Anglican Church bishops oppose proposals for government regulation of the religious sector, calling instead for a stronger self-regulation mechanism among various religious groups. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.